Hello guys, I am back in with another new video. Now today, I am gonna showcase something that will just blow your mind. This is a solid game changer. Okay, so this is a pass, I think. Yeah, platform as a service because Heroku is a pass. So this is a, that kind of software like uh, which can uh, be used to deploy applications. Uh, and other kind of things as well like this platform actually supports applications databases services and a lot of things like okay uh, they are providing a lot of automation as well like automation in terms of some criteria so we will explain about all of those so let me directly like get uh, to the platform to show you what it is and how it works and most importantly it's open source and free and you can self-host it anywhere you want okay so let's get started so today we have coolify and as it says an open source and self-hosted heroku slash nestlify alternative now i would say it's more than just uh netlify and obviously similar to heroku so what we have first of all we have applications like <clears throat> static application any node.js application stealth react all of those frameworks okay next js that is important nuxt is also available php dust and more okay so basically whenever we are getting <coughs> sorry Basically, whenever we are getting a Node.js runtime, that would be enough for us to run any Node.js based application that we use in modern days. May it be modern stack or mean stack, modern and mean are basically same, whatever, whatever stack we use. Okay, so that's one thing. Then we have databases, we, we have MongoDB, and all of them are one click. That is also important. That those are one click databases you don't have to do any type of hustle for creating it so we have we currently have mongodb that is document based database then we have our relational databases uh mysql postgresql uh then couchdb i don't actually know uh which type of database is couchdb then we have redis ram based database obviously and then we have services as well like wordpress ghost now this ghost is really important to have uh like uh, being self-hosted in a, any other platform it is really great but without a mail server host ghost really not gonna work to be honest whatever we have possible then noco db NoCoDB is a great tool to visualize uh, your databases. I don't know if I have like uh, showed it earlier or not. I have to check that. And then we have VS Code Server. That is great, really great. Like when you are developing uh, app in uh, like production environment, it's really great to have a VS Code Server as well as it will have like all of the similar kind of uh, plugins that are available uh, available to all of your team that really makes sense to be honest so that's one thing then we have vault warden or beat warden whatever you want to call like beat vault warden is the open source version of beat warden and that's it then we have nadin the automation tool the one and only great open source automation tool it can like automate anything just uh, with using just graphs and all okay then we have git sources as well like github integration gitlab integration and you can uh, use a hosted version of it and you can self foot your version control as well then uh, in terms of destination where we can deploy this coolify thing like the really great thing so we can deploy it in Docker engines, our Kubernetes, or I think you can run it locally as well. Wait, mm, 
I don't think so. So it's can it's only can be run in Docker and Kubernetes. I think as of now, maybe I don't know. Uh, what are the other things that we are seeing over here? That is commit and pull request of data and like automatical automatic deployment of pull requests. That is one thing that most of the modern platform is providing right now. So, uh, may, you may think that we obviously by default should have that, but this is not the case for a lot of the open source projects to be honest. So they are providing that they have kept that in mind. I am really happy for that. And the other features are like team management policies. Like you can have the control of your namespace and like manage the team. Then we have has to be installation and upgrade. Installation is okay. When you are doing it for one time, you might like uh, say like if, if, if it even take you an hour to install it uh, like set it up and if it's just a one time you can do that right but upgrading it or updating it again and again and again that would be uh, really a like a problem uh, it, it obviously will not be simple so that thing if we can do it with like one button click that would be really great and it solves a big problem at all as well okay so but whatever uh, i am like uh, sharing over here like the gist of it is it is a great kind of management platform for your apps back end front end database everything okay automation services like that as well and if we go to uh, like uh, documentation portion here we can see what we have what we have in terms of build pack okay so static apps like html css javascript node.js php stealth J Vue.js, Nuxt.js as well Nuxt is actually like some something of views and just like uh, uh next.js is uh, something of react and uh, then we have gatsby astro and and, and, and really uh, like happy to see that astro is over here as well then 11t react preact next js okay makes sense then we have next js yeah so this is kind of like uh, not too conventional i would say because when you have node js and still they're providing like every support for every single uh X, like every single uh, framework of Node.js, that is really great. Like we don't see uh, Express over here. Just I I think just because Nest can be used with Express as well as Fastify. So I think that's why they haven't include uh, Express or Fastify exclusively over here. I don't know. But whatever, uh, and Rust as well. But whatever, if nothing does work for you, just run it in Docker environment, like uh, Docker runtime that they have. Like I think that they will be build a Docker image. Like if you give them a Docker image, like they will just Docker compose it or do it in some way. I don't know actually. Okay, so those are the uh, build packs that are available. So you get like have this overview now like how uh, this is operating like which uh, frameworks that we have over here which framework that is sub it is supporting which technologies it is supporting then one thing i totally forget to tell you that is yeah it's uh giving you free ssl certificates and automatic reverse proxy so those are the really wait wait sorry 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 so those are the really really great to solution to have as well because to set up reverse proxy you need uh nginx right uh, to set up yeah you need nginx if it's handling it automatically that's gonna save you a lot of time in devops section as well as free ssl get you are getting free ssl in, in like everywhere so that's also gonna save you a lot of time and if we go to like ssl section we have it 
not just SSL. Okay. SSL section here you have like yeah. SSL form Lexin script. Now what are the services that are available right now in that in this platform? And all of those are one-click services. So ghost WordPress, uh, those are bloggings, mainly blogging, yeah. Then we have analytics uh, from possible. Then we have no code VS Code, Minio. So this is really important having Minio because uh, Minio or Minio, whatever you want to call it. Minio is a object storage that is Amazon S3 compatible. And in most of the application of ours, we will be needing, obviously needing object storage. So if we are having that over here, that's great. Then we have Vault Warden, that is obviously Bitwarden, uh, Bitwarden's open source version. Then language tool, I don't know what is language tool, I have never, never used it. N18 automation tool, uptime Kuma to check the uptime of the website and that's it. That's about it, about uh, the services that they are providing. And obviously in terms of database, those are the database option that is available right now. So those are the things that is Coolify providing. I don't know if it's gonna be a big hit or a great fail. But one thing I would like to say, I will be obviously using it for my apps from now on, to be honest. Like if I have to get it into production, I will be using it, obviously because this makes more sense uh, i have to like none of my team members have too much knowledge in devops okay uh, we are currently in the learning curve of it it will take time i know but meanwhile if we're getting a solution like this why will we not use it right so yeah that's it that's it about this video that's it about qualify that was my pitch to you to use coolify to be honest so use it let me know if you like it or not like i would i would be needing an honest review of it from your side as well in the video or comments please tell me how useful it is to you what are the quacks quacks yeah quacks you are finding in it please let me know about all of them and if you like my videos in general, please do subscribe to this channel. And if you know about some of the cooler apps like this, like it is not app, this is pass basically. Platform as a service, whatever, whatever. It's like cool projects like this. Please let me know about all of them in the comment section below as well. So I can feature them in my future video. So bye for now.